Okay, welcome to you, Old and Retro. My name is Vincent. Today I have an unboxing of the Logitech G502 Lightspeed mouse. Now, this mouse is uh, one of the things that's been a long time coming. Um, currently on my main PC, I've been using um, a Republic of Gamers uh, mouse, which I haven't got on, on me, unfortunately, but literally has two buttons and a scroll wheel and while it has held up quite fine um, there's definitely been times where it's not the scroll rate is nowhere near as quick and in terms of like I'm hoping to streamline my workload so I can use this for work as well in terms of like the scroll wheel it's got like an infinite scroll which will be really useful for when I'm using like kind of spreadsheets and that kind of thing so I want to really want to use one mouse across both devices and not worry about having to switch mice basically um, especially when I'm at a, f a fixed position where my main desk is so so this is why I'm, I got this in the first place and it's wireless so I get that flexibility in case I never need to use it for another device I've got that um, obviously the, the, the receiver as well so this itself as you can see it's got light speed technology so which means the, the, the latency basically between uh, this and wide versions should be the difference should be minimal basically and um, I believe they say it's up to like even one one or two milliseconds or something like that so max makes it like as fast as wires basically it's imperceptible in terms of human reaction speed it comes with the hero sensor which is I believe up to a 25k sensor uh, it's got something called power play which I believe is their mat so if I get the wireless mat I'm going to use this without having to worry about you know using a wire or whatever or charge it up and it comes with light sync so it comes with a RGB sensor inside so I can use it with different colors it's got uh, additional weights much like the standard G502 uh, Hero um, there's, there's the, the wide version comes with weights and this comes with weights as well and it's got a hyper fast um, basic scroll wheel I believe that's it really yep it comes with the device as you can see it's got some weights Gives you a bit more explanation about the light speed technology and then a bit more explanation about you know the weights and programming that kind of thing. So without further ado, let's unbox this. You can see here that wow. Okay, leather box really doesn't have much, so I'll toss it to one side. The mouse itself is wow, really nice. That's uh yeah, fits my hand really well. Scroll is rock solid. There's a little slight rubber grip on this. Not a big fan of this because it's going to be. This will disintegrate over a couple of years to be fair, so hopefully it does last up. Uh, the buttons are really nice, clicky. This is a little device. I think if you press this button here, it releases the scroll wheel. As you can see, we just scroll that. Look how smooth that is in comparison. That's amazing. So click that back on and then you can scroll up particular lines now obviously lift this up and you might expect there to be a wire here but you know nope. it's just shrink wrapped at the bottom and then wow well, that's it's not it's not overly heavy it's actually a really nice weight uh, so I might stick it onto this a little bit uh, without any weights on it but we'll see how solid I require it to be um, and then, wow, well, the extra buttons are nice. It's got the, the extra button here as well, so you can use it accordingly. So there, that looks like it's uh, amazing. It does charge, as you can see here, by micro USB, which is a bit of a downfall, a bit of a downer. I would like to see USB-C in this, but this did come out uh, a couple of years ago, I believe, before USB-C was prevalent so you can forgive it for having that but you can use it in wide mode so I don't want to keep connecting up and down the wire so we'll see how that goes so leave it to one side in the box itself you have again cardboard friendly uh, which is great for recycling so that's a good sign to see you do get what's this oh this is the weight back pack so if I open this up Yep, it's got additional weights inside, which is great, and it's got the little receiver, uh, which is used for, uh, sort of, like basically, I believe what they recommend you do is, 
have the receiver as close to the mouse as possible. So obviously the further away it is, the more the interference it's going to be. So I'm going to recommend that's why they got the little the charging micro USB cable. So you use the cable, take it off and charge the mouse whenever you need to. But again, just have this on hand. And it comes with the little weights. I believe you get two four gram weights and you get uh, four two gram weights. So that's quite handy. So I'll put that down. And then you get the mass of paperwork and the charging cable, there's nothing else in the box. So charging cable is slightly rubberized. Um, it is actually, it's got the little magnet things to help with interference. So that's a that's added bonus. So it's a quite nice cable. I believe it's about a metre long roughly. So that's uh, plenty. Probably might be a metre and a half potentially even. So that's quite a nice cable to use. And then it comes with some information about your call your way, a nice Logitech sticker. Um, yeah, some other devices. So you got the 10 keyless light speed, some light speed headset. I believe you can pretty much just use wireless for pretty much everything, which is quite nice. And then some quick start guide on basically on what. Buttons do what? In terms of like DPI, up and down. Um, obviously, I believe you can program most of these yourself. So, the great thing about this is that it does also have. Uh, I believe you can install the program and I obviously reprogram all this so you've got like uh, macros and that kind of thing, which is great. But by default, this is shows what it does. Um, so, obviously, left click, right click, middle click. You can hold uh, G4 and G5, which is the left click and the right click here. So you literally can like do this, which is really nice, I think. And then you've got a, a sniper mode, so it drops it down to 400 DPI, so you get a precise headshot, so you're not tweaking up and down. And you have G7, G8, so you do DPI, up, DPI down on the fly, just a little click a button. And then a G9, um, not quite sure what that is. G9 is on the side, I believe. No, also, sorry, this is standard back and forth. G9 is, oh, this one here. I think that's a programmable one. And then, yeah, so G10 and 11 is this one. And then, sorry, G4 and 5 are these, which is basically uh, by default on Windows, you can press back and forth. So if you're browsing, it's quite useful. But obviously, in, the, in a game, you can obviously reprogram to whatever you need. So. Uh, I remember once I had a program on a different mouse where I just pressed the button and it did a 180 reverse um, spin bit for me basically so I can turn around quickly which is really useful for Left 4 Dead um, but yeah uh, this looks like it's going to be a really good piece of kit uh, I look forward to using it uh, so that's it really um, hopefully I can give a bit more of a review later down the line uh, about how it's going to work and how it works well but all in all, um, thanks for watching and I hope to see you in another video. Thank you.